Hello everyone, my name is Shivani and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Data never sleeps. Yes, you heard it right. Do you know how much data gets shared each and every minute? Now here are some stats that may shock you. Every minute, 500 hours of video content is uploaded by the users on YouTube. $1 million are spent by the consumers in online shopping every minute. User supply for 69,444 jobs on LinkedIn every minute. A Zoom host 2,8,333 participants in their meetings. Netflix users watch or stream 4,4444 hours of video content. The numbers are crazy. In 2016, we had 3.57 billion people actively using the internet. In 2020, it was 4.57 billion people. Now, each post, comment, share, swipe is really important for the businesses to grow. And the businesses are changing with the world. Uh, that's why data science is so important. Now, businesses take data-driven decisions to reach more potential audience to grow their business. Applications of machine learning like fraud detection system, movie recommender system are everywhere. From our social media apps to our shopping sites, we are implementing machine learning algorithm everywhere. Companies use them for their benefit to reach more potential customers and to increase their product awareness. For example, Netflix showing you movies that you might be interested in or Amazon showing you products that you might be interested in buying based on your previous purchases. But have you ever thought like what's the difference between these two? In data science, we work with data and in machine learning, we use data to train and test our model. Most of you who have already started with data science may already know this that at the end of every data science project, we apply machine learning algorithm like logistic regression or decision trees or sometimes we apply artificial intelligence or deep learning in some cases. In this video, we will see what's the difference between machine learning and data science. And I assure you, at the end of this video, you will be amazed by the fact that I'm going to tell you. Now, let's just start with machine learning. In machine learning, we focus on creating a model that can learn from data and give us some results or give us some predictions about latest trends like predicting stock prices or recognizing fingerprints. Google Translate or self-driving cars are some examples of machine learning models. In machine learning, we create models using algorithms like K means clustering, KNN or decision trees, name bears, random forests, etc. In data science, on the other hand, we gather a large amount of data. We clean this data for our use. We use Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, to filter out the data that we need in order to find the answers to our questions. We apply mathematics and statistics to see patterns inside the data. A data scientist usually follows the step-by-step -step process of data science that are first one, collecting data, second, uh, pre-processing data, third, analyzing data, fourth, uh, driving insights, and fifth, uh, taking actions based on these insights. After performing all these steps, a data scientist takes the help of a machine learning engineer to create a model out of this data to make prediction. But this may not always be the case. A data science problem may not always require a machine learning algorithm at the end. Data science is a vast field. It has many applications and uses. It's like a mixture of statistics, mathematics, uh, science, and of course data that is massive. In order to become a data scientist, you have to be an expert in the domain that you're working on. As the main job of a data scientist is to solve business problems. They should also have good communication skills uh, because they have to explain it to other people what the data is actually saying. They're like data storytellers. Now let's just differentiate uh, based on what is the role of a data scientist and a machine learning engineer. Now there is a lot of overlap between these two fields. Uh, in some companies you will see a data scientist working as a machine learning engineer or vice versa can also happen. A data scientist may or may not always have a computer science degree. For example, a person working as a biotech engineer in some company, they can learn all these programming skills and become a data scientist. A data scientist should be good in data storytelling. They should have a strong domain knowledge. They should be good at solving business problems. Uh, they should uh, have a curious and creative mind too. 
A data scientist, uh, usually uh, they are good at programming languages like Python and R. They use tools like Tableau, Power BI. Sometimes a data scientist can apply all the data science process using Excel, NumPy and Pandas only. On the other hand, a machine learning engineer are core software engineers. They have strong computer science background. They should be good at uh, programming languages like C++, Java, Julia, Scala, etc. They don't use scikit-learn for creating their machine learning model. They write their own code. They implement their own code into machine learning algorithms to optimize their machine learning model. A data scientist may not always implement a machine learning algorithm to find the answers to their questions. On the other hand, a machine learning engineer deploys the machine learning model into the application so that it can become accessible to everyone. I think now it's clear that the data science is like an umbrella under which machine learning takes the shelter. A data science uses machine learning algorithms, artificial intelligence and deep learning to solve business problem. Isn't this amazing? Now talking about how much average salaries they get, well it depends on a lot of factors like what type of company they are working in, what are their roles and responsibilities, how many years of experience they have. But in most of the cases, a machine learning engineer gets more salary than a data scientist. I hope this video helped you out in understanding the difference between data science and machine learning. Please let me know in the comment section below if you still have any questions. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to geeks for geeks and hit that like button. Also, if you want to see more videos on data science and machine learning, please let me know in the comment section below. Till then, bye.